<clears throat> hey, what's up? I'm up here in Alexandria, Virginia, the historic district, uh, area known as Lee's Corner. Uh, headed to the Lee Fendel House over there across the street, the White House. And uh, it was home to 37 members of the Lee family. And uh, this entire area actually is known as Lee's Corner because at one time they owned pretty much every house in the area. And just to let you know, the land was purchased by Henry Lighthorse Harry Lee in 1784. And he sold a portion of the land to a guy named Philip Fendel and he built the actual house. So, throughout the South for homes that were, you know, pro-Confederate to display on the wall. They were actually in a house just down the street that got torn down in the 1960s. But we acquired a lot of the items that were in that home, a lot of the furniture and um, some of the items that were on the wall. So they were a sign, obviously, of support during the war. Um, would have been also hanging probably after the war to show that you were an unreconstructed Confederate. Um, and certainly would have been, uh, this house would have been a household that would have been very much involved in a lot of those Confederate commemorations following the Civil War. So the women here, for example, um, were very active in the Daughters of the Confederacy organization um, and raising money for orphans and monuments and things like that.
I just finished up the tour. Learned a couple interesting things. This house was built in the telescopic style. It was a style popular in Maryland. Uh, that's where Fendel was from. And it's the only house in Northern Virginia, I think all of Virginia, that's, uh, that's built that way. Uh, Fendel, uh, the guy who built the house, was actually originally a Lee, or his mother was a Lee. And, uh, and then Fendel ended up marrying uh, three Lees himself. So marrying cousins uh, was pretty popular back then. And uh, let's see, I learned that across the street to the right was Robert E. Lee's uh, boyhood home. He uh, moved up to Alexandria from Stratford Hall when he was between the ages of five and seven, somewhere, somewhere in there. And uh, one of the Fitzhughes own this house, if, uh, if anybody's familiar with them. They're, uh, they own the, uh, the, the Chatham House in Fredericksburg or in Stafford County. And uh, this house was eventually turned into a school. All right, so that's it for the tour of the Lee Fendel house. Uh, see you next time.